What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology so this is also going to be neo 4j tutorial like morning as i this as discussed like i'll be going to uh, load one csv file inside our neo 4j database and we'll we'll see it like how to do that i think this is one of the important topic like uh, if you search in google and stack overflow everywhere it is like uh, one of the most searched topic how to load csv well so let me just highlight with one name well done then let's kind of like load csv so let me just open let me just download all the libraries And done now let me just establish the connection well this is going to be like uri equals to and i have open over here like our so i have copy paste and like new 4j well guys done now what i'll do i'll try to establish the session object like driver dot session so let me now just check how many objects are there so there are total three objects are there let me delete everything actually match and detach delete and this is normal cipher so everything is delete now if i check there is nothing zero we are good to go so we'll be trying to load this file then this file is placed over here okay so there is something in neo 4 jasper neo 4 j syntax uh, i am not sure like what is that let me just open this thing neo 4j load csv or like well uh, okay something is written okay we'll see it okay so the query will be like uh, load csv uh, load csv with header from file and i think it is going to be file think something like this Thing. I'm not sure actually. Mm. Just think. Uh, think. Yes, something similar to this. And in our case, the file name is data.txt. Well, I can change the name as well. Like. Save. So this is going to be data.csv and like as csv or anything like f1 I believe just like our normal csv thing okay so this is the usual syntax okay and just thinking like what else after that let me just the second line i can write like create let's say n let's say um, give it a name bulk csv and let's say name is going to be like f1 dot name and 
company is going to be f1 dot company okay so in that case i think uh, this is going to be like this is this well and i think i should change it okay as i just write i have written this in the next line so that is why right now i have to run this thing actually so this is actually i have set up this uh, csp file just like normal our csp thing after that f1 dot uh, name means okay i have to just change it small f1 and company the because that uh, we have name and company so f1 dot name means this one f1 dot company means this column okay so let me just run this thing now session dot run and inside that i have to run this thing well some error invalid input well i'm not sure the error is not giving the proper error ah you are getting some error I'm not sure why I'm just thinking what is why the error well I think I can this one and okay okay I think I should do it from here as well like from Eclipse I think this is the right way not the right way but again the better way if you can get something from here like let me just do this thing well expected ss line and offset csv with header that is it's saying there is some mismatch in the line okay expected is okay i understood so there will be one s actually okay and what is the problem here again well here is some problem again as f1 Mm, I'm just thinking what is the problem in that case I'm just thinking load csv headers from file well I think I just this is wrong I'll just try this thing now okay now this is saying could not load the file in this path okay 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 so it is actually by default looking at in this directory so we have to put our file over here so what i'll do i'll just go to this directory let me just open this is actually i'm using mac so it is users ronnie library so i have to go here like uh, close everything like go to folder slash i think yes it's there already then it is uh, library then inside library application support then neo4j desktop well this is neo4j desktop and inside that uh, application then neo4j databases right then database this thing neo4j database then this one then install 35.5 then import then here I have to put this thing so copy and paste I think if I run this thing this should execute now terminated successfully completed I'm happy actually I'm able to do it so what I'll do I'll try to check if this is actually 
uh, executed or not so let me run our query from here yes virat rohit homu ronnie rahul and c our file also consists of this thing ronnie rahul rohit virat homu so abc xyz pqr so let's check each and everything is fine or not yes so what i'll do i'll delete the i'll delete everything from here okay well and i'll try to run this thing from jupyter notebook okay so what i'll do right Mm, let me just put one extra column like um, type equals to by python okay let's say that just to check whether it is actually taking uh, like combination of like uh, formatted and also from file two types of input it is taking or not so without any error it has been executed so we'll check here five node open c company pqr name rohit type by python so it is actually working fine so two catches like it will be load csv with header there will be one s and from this will this will be the no file sorry guys there will be no file and after that uh, like the file has to be placed inside this directory like it is kind of confusing so i'm also not remembering those things i'm just keeping it like for the runtime if it is throwing some error then we'll be able to understand what is the directory actually system is uh, system or near new for just configured for the import thing so if you go through the uh, documentation from neo 4j it will be mentioned over here though that is why actually initially i opened this file so guys please search in google neo 4j load csp inside the load csp everything is mentioned here, over here okay uh like from where you have to load the data and all okay so from here actually you can change it from here to like your local directory as well so there is no harm but again this is not hard code uh, like memorization required if you do something analytically or logically you will able to solve it see i put it over here it was throwing the error and it is actually finding in some path so in that path i went and i updated the data so that's just simple it it might take 5 minutes extra but again in this way can achieve this thing so let me quickly conclude this thing like uh, let me just delete this thing first it looks bad okay so establish the connection and establish the session and after that we just uh, put this thing in this format load csv with headers from file as f1 this is like normal python csv loading and after that normal uh, cipher query but only thing is that for getting the data from csv you have to put it in this way i hope you guys understand right okay guys so that's all for uh, this video i think this is one of the important topic like whenever you go you have to load your data like if you're working as an administrator or db or somewhere like you have to load some sort of data in, in sort of data loading or initial loading where like whenever is required so this is one of the important and very easy tutorial if you understand you can do anything like within a fraction of a second so guys please do some sort of hands on using this thing try to create some sort of looping with respect to python let's say uh, you are doing some other stuff in python by some for loop and after every for loop operation let's say you are having 10000 files you have to create 10000 graphs inside your database like on 10000 nodes and each node has to be created by some sort of looping in that case you have to just develop your logic more complex to check how it actually works and the more you uh, create those logic or some intuition the more you will get some sort of confidence to work with neo forge and you will you will actually start uh, falling in love with this sort of technologies guys so i'll highly recommend you try to do some sort of hands on by your own i'll actually enable you towards neo forge to some sort of like uh, 
um, building your intuition so i'm not actually giving you the expert advice but only advice i can give you just watch my videos and after try to do something but again if you are following my videos i think i'll be probably going to upload like more than uh, 40 or something uh, videos and this is going to be whole new future series but again if you're going to watch those 40 seri video series that is not going to help you only you have to watch my videos as well as you have to do some sort of practice and you have to uh, like read from the documentation documentation not only the documentation you have to go through some stack overflow or some other from just to understand the new trends or new forge and how people are working actually new forge is mostly using sort of cyber security or some sort of like fraud detection or some sort of advanced like uh, visualization okay so this is not a hardcore computer uh, like development for it development kind of a thing this is more or less kind of like uh, kind of analytics or fraud detection kind of a uh, uh, tool this is not only database this is as well uh, treated as a tool to enable organization to do work more smartly and efficiently so guys that's all for today i hope you guys are enjoying my video if it's actually helping you i believe okay if you are if i if you if you guys think that my belief is completely wrong just do let me know by some sort of positive or negative feedback i won't mind but if you think this video is actually helping you just do let us know by some sort of support you can do it via subscribe to our channel sharing our videos anywhere or also put the uh, put some positive comments or also hit the like button or also those are not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel so that the notification should not be missed uh by you okay guys uh that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a have a nice weekend i think weekend is over but again it's in germany it is only four o'clock four thirty so anyways uh take care guys have a nice weekend